Now we're going to go into some detail on how the Twilio sub accounts work. Uh, I am in the admin under SMS list Twilio settings. Twilio settings, uh, the standard uh, master account information will go up here. You'll need to enter this in order to use sub accounts. This is um, your main Twilio information. So you need to have a default account. Uh, you don't have to use sub accounts, and I'll go into detail about them, but you do need to have a master Twilio account set up here. Uh, anytime you send messages in and out and all that type of thing, if not otherwise specified, it's going to use your default Twilio settings. Now, one of the great features about this upgrade for the plugin is that you can create new users with uh, their own phone numbers and all that type of thing. They can log in separately, um, but it is good to, to either use their own Twilio account, and you can do that. I'll show you how later. But now you can also assign them to a Twilio sub account. Um, essentially what a sub account does is it segments the data and information and phone numbers inside of your main Twilio account, groups it into the sub account so it kind of separates it so if you create an, uh, a, a sub account for a client um, you um, can get new phone numbers and all that through the sub account you can also suspend the sub account so if you have an, a client that's not paying or you just need to turn off for some reason you don't want the messages going in and out but maybe you want to keep the phone numbers but you just don't want to get charges or, or, or you don't want the user to be able to send out any information or messages to your list well one is you just cancel their user account but two you uh, if they've done a lot of advertising and they're not paying you and you got people hitting the phone number and calling in and texting uh, and you don't want to get those charges go ahead and suspend the account all you have to do is click on suspend it'll prompt you make sure that's what you want to do and then it's going to reload the page here and now we see that it is suspended and we can click the button to unsuspend it or reactivate it <clears throat> the other thing you can do is uh, when you have um, uh, the need to close an account you can just click on the close button or the close link. Now when you close an account it wipes out that account completely. It, any phone numbers that might be attached to it are gone. All the data is gone. You cannot recover an account that you close. So be careful about using it. So if you click, click close it's going to warn you. It cannot be undone. You're going to lose everything. So I just created this account in testing earlier. I can go ahead and close it. Okay, so that account's gone. To create a new account, uh, you can just click create new account, new sub account. Uh, you might want to give it a name first. Um, and hit create, and it's going to uh, create the account and show it up here. To edit any of the names, you can change these to whatever you like. Just click on it and um, Let's see here. Give it a new name, click outside the box, and it'll automatically save that. And uh, that is um, the quick overview of how the um, sub accounts, at least how this admin area works. Um, you, of course, you cannot suspend or close your master account. You can change the name of it if you want. And uh, so now, uh, in another video, I'll show you how to use these with clients.